All right, welcome back into Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Board Friday. Huge game tonight in the NWOAL. Archbold and Evergreen both unbeaten in league play. Winner of this game in first place with one game to go. Evergreen is 18-1 overall in the midst of a great season on the home floor. That home crowd, oh, they were good tonight. First quarter, senior Mason Leffler behind the arc nails a three ball. Go to the second quarter now. One point game, Elijah Zimmerman with a steal. Keeps it himself, splits two defenders at the hoop. It's a 21-18 game at the half. Third quarter, seven point Viking lead. Ethan Leffler with the ball, dribbles into the key, gets the finger roll to fall. Vikings extend their lead, but Archibald trying to fight back. Off a steal, Alex Roth puts in the jumper here. He is fouled, but Evergreen would figure out Archibald's press, Jack E2, left wide open. Evergreen, a statement win at home. They are now alone atop the NWOAL. They win 49-35, and John Monk has more. Jordan, all of the Evergreen folks I talked to tonight said tonight's atmosphere was the most electric they had ever experienced in this gym. It was a close first half, but in the second half, the Vikings pulled away on the backs of the Loughlin brothers. 30 combined points, and Nate Brighton's 15 rebounds, but the secret stat of this win tonight was the Evergreen Vikings held Archbold to only five made baskets out of 20 attempts in the second half, leading to this 49-35 win. It's huge, it's been 11 years since we've had a league championship. This was the most significant game ever played in the building in the 17 years it's been, been around. To have our fans chant, this is our house, what it's all about. They're going to remember that the rest of their lives. Yeah, it's huge. It's probably the biggest biggest game that's ever been in this gym since it's been built. It's huge. It's always fun to play in games like that. It's what we play basketball for. I can't thank the second team enough for coming out and modeling Archbold for us and letting us know what's going to happen. And just coming out here and winning this. Crazy. And with only one game left in league play in the regular season, this at least ensures a minimum of a shared NWOAL title, the first for Evergreen since 2009. Reporting from Evergreen, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11. John, thanks to the NBC now. Rossford has already clinched the outright title. Bulldogs home tonight with Genoa. Jack Sapila passes the ball to Mike right now, who then passes to Jake Emerson, knocks down a three ball in the corner. Rossford to answer right back. Ethan DeWeese, great look to Bennett Morris, and he would lay it up and in for the easy bucket. But Genoa had upset on their mind. Alan Latart to Zapila. He muscles it up and in. How about Genoa pulling off the upset? 47-44 the final. Next up in the NBC, Eastwood 8-4 on the road tonight at Lake. Good start to this one for Eastwood. Work it down low. Jacob Halko gets it to go. Gets it over to Christian Peters, who lays it up and in, plus the foul. Lake would respond. Get it down to Gabe Garcia. He bobbles, but recovers. He kicks to a wide open Tyler Safran. Launches a three, gets the home court bounce. Flyers right in this one. But Eastwood just too tough tonight. Halco gets it down low to Jacob Meyer. Right back out to Halco. He knocks down the three. Eastwood wins at 56-38. Next up in the Blanchard Valley Conference, Liberty Benton making the trip to Lipsick. Eagles looking for a third straight win. Eagles find Spence Spies open top of the key. He drains a long ball. And then later, here come the Vikings. Drew Liffick goes baseline, goes up strong for a pair, but the Eagles would respond. Makai Jenkins given lots of room on the wing. He drains a three. Liberty Benton wins in overtime, 56-51. In our last stop of the night in the Western Buckeye, Defiance and Wapakoneta picking this one up late fourth. Defiance trying to rally. Tyrell Goings with a layup and in for the Bulldogs. The away team trails by three. Clock winding down. Goings again. That would make it a two-point game, but the rally falls short. Noah Ambo sinking the free throws to ice it. Redskins win tonight at the line, 42-38. All right, time for another break here on Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Four Friday. When we come back, we've got some Friday night action. The UT Rockets back on the home floor, and they are fighting to improve their position in the max standings. That's coming up next. This is Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Big Four Friday.